All right, y'all, so today I'm gonna show you how to mix and apply this weed control, and then I'm gonna show you how to spray it, and I'll even show you the results that you can expect. Now that said, this is for warm season lawns. Bermuda, Zoysia, St. Augustine, Centipede, and Bahia grass. All right, let's take a closer look at this. If you were to get this at the store, you might stop and go, well, it says it's for St. Augustine grass and Centipede, and I have Bermuda or Bahia or something else, maybe I should walk away. But really, what you need to do is look up underneath the hood a little bit more in the label here. You may not even know this is a brand new one. And see how it's all stuck on there? You might not realize that that opens, but it does. And uh, when you look down in here, you're gonna see, yes, there are your rates for St. Augustine grass. And this one's talking about flora tam mostly, which is what most of us have in Florida. And you can see the rate is 5.2 to 8.6 ounces per gallon. I always use the high rate. And then you can look down here, if you're not sure of your St. Augustine grass type, then you can see it's 6.2 to 8.6. The high rate's still the same. But down here, look, hybrid Bermuda grass, Baha'i grass, zoysia, buffalo grass, which is some Australian thing, she seashore paspalum, which my buddy Sam down in South Florida has, centipede right there, you can see 6.2 to 8.2, and then over here is common Bermuda grass, so that just tells you, go ahead and open this up and look and read, you'll find here, temperature restriction, don't spray when it's over 85, and that's when it's over 85 at the time of your application or within a couple hours, so usually you should spray in the evening or in the morning. If it's hot out, that's why this is such a great late winter, early spring weed control. All right, y'all, let's review real quick because repetition is the key to learning. The high rate on this product is 8.6 ounces per gallon of spray mix. I'm gonna go ahead in the next piece and I'm gonna mix out two gallons of spray mix. Now you're gonna see me using a four gallon backpack sprayer. So I'm only filling two gallons of spray mix in that four gallon backpack sprayer. Just so you know, that means I'm gonna need then 17.2 ounces of this concentrate into that two gallons of spray mix. Now here's the order of how you mix it up and get it ready to spray. Here I'm filling two gallons of spray mix, so that means I need 17.2 ounces of concentrate. I fill the sprayer halfway with water first, put in the 17.2 ounces of concentrate, then I fill the rest to the two gallon line. Go ahead and shake well, and this is a time when it's fine to shake more than once or twice, nobody will judge. Next, clear out your sprayer line so you have weed control locked and loaded all throughout the system, and you're ready to spray. Now a word on my tip. In the last sprayer video I did, I talked about the tips and the purpose they serve. And when it comes to spraying weed control, we wanna get as much liquid on the leaves of the weeds as possible. This is achieved by using a tip that creates a very fine mist, very similar to this red fan tip here. 